Now, coming up next, Medusa Michelli, just back from a long and very successful tour of Japan, battle the mysterious goddess. Ladies and gentlemen, this LPWA match, one fall with a 10-minute time limit. Now, every man's fantasy, weighing in at 132 pounds, managed by mysterious Jonathan Blue, the goddess. And her opponent for this match, from Milan, Italy, weighing in at 140 pounds, Medusa. Jonathan Blue. That's a good question, uh, Killer. Uh, here we are, another sellout uh, week of professional wrestling in the uh, Laughlin Riverside Hotel. And it's amazing uh, to see another great sellout. And uh, again, where is Jonathan Blue? I don't see him. So maybe uh, perhaps there's some unrest in the camp of the goddess of Jonathan Blue. Maybe uh, he saw her without the mask on. Goddess certainly has her work cut out for her here against Patricia Michelli. It's going to be a good one. Uh, both girls are about the same size. It would be a good, uh, good matchup. Goddess always has a history from what we've seen early on in the LPWA. She wrestles up through or down to her opponent's ability. Every it, week that mask gets a little bigger. And with Medusa, she is in with one of the best. Headlock now by the Goddess on Medusa. Medusa turns it Whoa. right around. Standing suplex from the back. He suplexed her right back on the back of her head. That didn't feel too good, I'm sure. Now the goddess, I don't think it was expecting it. Didn't land very well. She's kind of uh, she stars a little bit. I think she wants the eight count, but this isn't boxing. She's trying to claim that Medusa grabbed her hair, but uh, was not to the case. Uh, it was a legal uh, uh, backward suplex. She's kind of stunned her. I think she's trying to argue the referee to kind of shake the cowboys on a little bit. Look for a test of strength here. Whoa! Uh, Medusa just showing us uh, how liver she has become as of late. That she has. You know, she was an excellent gymnast since she was in high school. She certainly was. You can see uh, that helped you out. Man, the goddess with the knee to the bread basket. Medusa again uses that arm neck suplex. Bridge is able to get a count of two, but that's all early on. But I think it did some damage. The goddess has got to be saying, what's going on? But the goddess turns it right around, goes for that arm bar, takes her off the ropes in a slingshot. Whoa! Whoa! What a move. Face first, down to the mat goes Medusa Michelli. You know what, she's got a face full of the pass through ribbon, side. Another one. Two in a row. The goddess says, if it works once, why not again? It did. And Medusa decides to uh, head out of town, if you will. I look too when the referee doesn't even uh, warn the goddess twice to pull in hair. Referee Eddie Sharkey counting uh, Medusa out. Uh, stop the count. Now the goddess, instead of you know letting the count go by coming up the ropes, the last referee to restart it, Medusa asking for the goddess to be kept back, so she's got ample time to get in the ring. Goddess obliges, a bit surprisingly so. Let's say that uh, this match, uh, the winner of this should be right in line for a title shot match with Superstar Susan Sexton here in the LPWA. Medusa with a leg sweep right to the hamstring area of the goddess. That takes her down. She does it again two times, three times. She caught her right in the uh, part of the leg where it's uh, real weak. Five, six straight times. Medusa getting a lot of that over in Japan. The European and Japanese girls use their legs so much more, and we're seeing the evidence of that here against Medusa. Now she goes for a reverse chin lock. And a handful of hair there with the, uh, the goddess on Medusa. Now she finally breaks it. We having to uh, take a little bit more uh, of the goddess's. Uh... Now Medusa here are smartly as the goddess rolled over. Medusa throwing her weight also across the back the lower back of the goddess and now it looks like she's trying to get the mask off the crowd roaring its approval but this unable that's on pretty tight side but she's trying her darndest to get it off she sure is and it looks like the goddess was by doing some biting sure she's biting medusa that's how she was able to reverse it so quickly she's gonna do anything she can to keep that mask off 
hammers away at the lower back of Medusa. First the clinch fist and now the boot. That mask is uh, it's off a little bit. It's off a little Close bit. Line. It also is to the advantage of the goddess. You see how Medusa forgot about the wrestling and went after that mask and allowed the goddess to uh, get a big chunk of teeth into her hand. And time to regroup and gain her own respite. Now the goddess taking Medusa choke her across that top rope. Referee ordering the break. Goddess just rocking her back and forth. Goddess a little more aggressive than we've seen her in the past. Certainly, I think Sarge has decided. Now she goes for a cover. Count of two. Medusa able to roll out. Goddess may well have decided that as tough a competitor as Medusa is, her only shot is just across the rule book out the window. I believe so. She, uh, I, I would uh, be uh, afraid that to say that uh, before this one's over, Medusa's going to take the rule book out the window herself. Well, we certainly know she is well capable. And I think the goddess was biting her again. Yeah, that's all it takes. One too many of those on Medusa. Medusa able to reverse it around, goes in for a hammerlock of her own. You talk about a temper. Medusa's got that temper, and you get that Italian temper up, and uh, you're in for a big, uh, heavy night of uh, of a lot of uh, action, as you should probably well know, uh, Killer. You've been out with uh, Medusa many times. Did she let that temper go when she's out with you? I don't know why you say that. Rumor is that you two are pretty, pretty cool. There's absolutely nothing to that. I read it in the Inquirer. <laughs> Whose Inquirer was that? Medusa now the reverse chin lock on the goddess. The goddess again goes for a bite. That's one way to break the hold. Hammers away at the back of Medusa Michelli. Off the ropes they come. Again, double judo chop to the chest and throat area of Medusa as the goddess certainly in high gear. Now the boot to the neck. This is a tough match. She's going for that surfboard. So she's trying to take both arms right off of the socket there. Good look at uh, Medusa's uh, pecs there now. Well, Medusa spends a great deal of time in the gymnasium, no question about that. That's the, some of the nicest, wildest outfits I've seen in the ladies' uh, wrestling. That she does. Designer outfits is worn by Medusa Michelli, but right now, talking about designs, the goddess has designs of a different sort on Medusa. I think either getting a submission here or leading to a one, two, three. I think we're close to a submission here. I hate to say uh, Medusa would give up at this point, but uh, she can got get to her feet and reverses. Well, she's got her up now and just drops her right on her rear end. Oh, she's got to be hurting. That's got to hurt that back. Oh, that does. The back and shoulder area. Now, the goddess rolls out. I'm not exactly sure why she would do that with Medusa. Obviously, it's a pain. I think she was thinking that uh, Jonathan Blue might be there to give her a little support, but there's no one there. Medusa's again in a lot of pain. Oh, maybe she was playing possum as she knocks the goddess just about into the first row of ringside here in Laughlin, Nevada. I think she was trying to tighten up her mask is what she was doing. And Medusa picks her up, slams her right down on the concrete here. That's just a thin carpet over the concrete. <laughs> she get the fans on their feet right now, right here at the sold out Laughlin, uh, Nevada wrestling crowd in Riverside Hotel here. And again, that's that fiery Italian temper we talked about on Medusa Michelli. The goddess working her way to her feet now. Referee Eddie Sharkey checking over here rather than counting the goddess. I just really don't understand what that's about. This is a long match. It's uh, Again, they better watch the time limit. This could go to a 10-minute draw. The goddess now not real anxious to get back in. Goes up and over. Comes over with a sunset flip. Count of two, and Medusa quickly rolls out, but I think the goddess was playing some possum on the outside. Goddess now scoop slam, down goes Medusa. Threw right down on her, her hip. Cover, but only a count of one. Off the ropes comes Medusa. Medusa now up oh. and over, back body drop again. Medusa landed right in the small of her back. She's in some obvious pain, no question. Medusa coming right around. Whoa. Medusa's delight. She goes for a bridge. Count of one, count of two, count of three. She got her. She got her. Boy, you talk about a great comeback by Medusa Michelli, who we thought may have been out. And the winner is Medusa. What did you call that move, Bar Killer? She 
calls it Medusa's dessert, if I'm not mistaken, because she says how sweet it is when she gets him on an opponent. You can turn the lights out, the party's over. He told me you were her dessert. We'll have more, ladies and gentlemen, back here at the uh, Riverside Hotel. LPWA wrestling at its best. Killer Ken Resnick and Sergeant Slaughter. Medusa Michelli showing an exemplary addition of the German suplex besting the goddess.